Hey Vinyl Community, John here. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Uh, about two, three months ago, me and uh, Mrs. Staff Sal, Julia, my wife, and uh, my mate uh, Vinyl Harry, we went to um, what was billed as a vinyl night in uh, Litchfield, which is about 20 odd miles sort of that way from where I live. Um, and it was being organised by the proprietor of our favourite record shop, a place called Those Old Records in Rugeley. And what he was trying to do, it was basically, or ostensibly, it was for the album launch for a folk singer called Bo, who, to be honest, I didn't particularly rate, quite frankly, um, but um, it was okay. But uh, he, he was on very early, and then there were two other bands, and the second band uh, was, uh, well, it was, it was supposed to be a bloke called uh, Declan Burke, and it was free, this was a whole night, it was free. Um, but essentially it was, it, it got twin lead guitars, a keyboardist who was playing bass through there and, um, and, a, and a drummer and it was the smallest venue but at the end of uh, it they announced that he was selling records, selling the copies of his, his album and this was what he was selling, it is the most elaborately packaged thing I've ever seen. Um, so I bought this um, and just look at this. It's, it's like a CD slipcase for an album, I've never seen anything. And it's a dual album, gatefold. And look at, just look at the artwork. It's just superb. The production on it's not brilliant, but it, the inners, it's heavy vinyl. It's got two full colour inners, you can see. And then really sort of pristine black vinyl. So, uh, I'd recommend that book for, to you, and this, this was free this evening. Um, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, the main reason um, for making this video is to tell you about a record label that I discovered as a consequence of this night um, called Fruits called Fruits de Mer. I'll just put it to one side. Um, now, I want to read from their website so you can just sort of see what he... Uh, uh, he says about them. This is a specialist website that was set up to um, initially, well they call themselves possibly the world's smallest vinyl only site, prog, acid, acid folk, kraut rock, space rock record label. Um, and they want, wanted to reissue um, classics and they couldn't get the rights off the record company so what they decided to do of, as an alternative was to re-record the original songs with new bands and then, uh, and then release those. And these, but they are the reason I uh, became introduced to them, or became aware of them is because at this vinyl night they had a raffle, which is the most bizarre thing to have at a gig. But anyway, I bought a couple of tickets, and I won this, which is a white. It was a white. It is a white label copy of their recent, um, one of their most recent albums. Um, and apparently it is likely to fetch some reasonable amounts of money on eBay but I don't, I've got no intention of selling it. But the artwork again is superb. And this particular album is called Sorrow's Children and it's uh, cover versions of the Sorrow uh, of the Pretty Things uh, SF Sorrow concept album from the 60s. So I won that and I was really pleased about that because I think it cost me something like £2. Um, that then made me start looking to further into it. I bought this album, which I think I might have shown before. This is called Head Music, um, and uh, it's uh, it's basically uh, to commemorate the the Brain Record label, and it's cover versions of kraut rock songs um, by bands such as uh, Aim and Dull, One and Two, Can, Jane. Uh, there's also Craftwork uh, song there. But the great thing about this record label is they go to immense trouble over the artwork. Um, and uh, let me just show you what it looks like inside. It's all coloured vinyl. Just look at that. Um, so, th they only issue them in limited editions of, um, I think it was about 700 of these available worldwide. And you, to guarantee being able to buy them, you've got to sort of register with the members club. It doesn't cost anything at all. You just get notified and then you buy them if you wish. But I've had an exchange of emails with the, the chap that runs it. He's called Keith Jones. He's a really nice bloke. 
and it, and he also sends like extra things out uh, with with the package of uh, records that you get. So I got a limited copy, 16 of 100 of a, of alternate artwork of the album, but he decided not to go with that one. Anyway, um, I think I said in my previous video that I came home and I had a package waiting for me, which was about Maximo Park. Um, but I had a second package, which is their latest batch of four singles with it. And it's all, <laughs> so that's, that's what came. Um, he sticks the stamps on himself. And uh, these are this sort of release. And you also get extras in here as well. Sent uh, some cards and things. He sent me some more artwork with it. Um, which is a band called Lucid Dream, which is one of these singles, and that's signed by all the bands, and this is number 30 of 100. And he only sends these out to selected ones, he doesn't put them in everyone, so it's a bit pot luck what you do get. But, and I'm not a big singles buyer, but these are well worth having because the quality is absolutely outstanding. This is um, a band called, um, what's this one called? That's the trouble. Um, a Cranium Pie. I need to come to me eventually when I look to the label. But this is theirs. The first one is uh, called A Visit to, uh, the, sorry, The Baking Research Station and uh, coupled with A Visit to Newport Hospital. So that's transparent. So that's that one. And then the Lucid Dream one, which I just showed you the artwork for, is that one. And that one's called Hits Me Like I'm Stoned and Try a Little Sunshine. That's in lovely green vinyl. And the next one is a new single from the Pretty, Pretty Things, which is a 60s garage rock band. This is excellent. Um, that's in lovely white vinyl. And then the last one is a reissue of Hilly Fields 1892, which I think came out in some time. Uh, a couple with 1892 by Nick Nicely. I think it originally came out in something like 1982, uh, which probably would be given the, the anagram of the date. And this one, this is probably the best one I think of the back. Um, look at the colour of that. So I'll put a link again, uh, details of the website, so that you can pick it up VC and have a look at the website. This, this again. It's, it's like a labour of love really, Fruits de Mer Records, and they become very collectible very quickly. So, um, it's, it's a way of listening to music, I think, that, and rediscovering music that you might never normally hear. So, just a quick plug for Fruits de Mer Records. Hope you're having a good Sunday VC, and take care. Cheers.